Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can spawn in more of the new DAISY Update 1.1 weapon, the ASVAL that you can uh, you can see here in all its glory, which is a variant on the silenced VSS. So, what we need is our types.xml file and we need our CFG spawnable types.xml file. Um, so to get them, if you're on a Nitrado server for PlayStation or Xbox or PC, what you want to do is you want to go into your web interface. Now you must have updated to the 1.11 uh, XMLs. So if you're not sure how to do that, in fact, let me quickly show you how to do that. Go into settings, go into general, go into reset mission XML to default, save it, restart the server, let it go through the whole restart, and then you'll have the new XMLs. It will have deleted your old XMLs, but you'll have the new ones. Then you want to go into the file browser and want to go into your uh, missions folder, um, DAISY PS mission PlayStation folder. Uh, I think it says Xbox for Xbox folder. If you're on PC, you've got to dig down a bit further to get into your mix missions folder. Offline.China is plus or offline.enoch if it's a Livonia server. And you want the CFG uh, spawnable types, which is that one there. CFG spawnable types, that XML, that file there. And you want to download that one. Then the other one you want is you want to go into the DB folder and you want to download the types.xml. And you want to download them to your local computer and you want to make a copy of them. So if you make a mistake, you know, you can go back. Um, and then you want to open them in your favorite text editor. Highly recommend Notepad++. So here they are. Now straight away, if you're wondering, the name for the new weapon is the ASVAL, the ASVAL. And the name for the 20 round mag is the MAGVAL 20 round. Okay, that's, that's what we're looking for. I think it is anyway. <laughs> Hope it is. So, the Asphalt Rifle, one of the problems with it is this. It's DE loot equals one, which means it's a dynamic event loot only weapon, which means that you'll only find it on helicopter crashes. Not only that, but in the vanilla files, only three of them spawn in. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, there's not many of, you know, there's not that many helicopter crashes on a vanilla server anyway. And then of the helicopter crashes, there's only ever going to be three AS files, and it's counted in the player and counted in the map. So, you know, your chances of finding one of these babies with vanilla settings is very, very low. So, one of the first things you could do is if you just wanted to increase the number of um, uh, AS valves on the server, you could, I don't know, move that up to, I don't know, 20, okay, and change your minimum to 15. Okay, but that doesn't solve the problem of them being dynamic event loot. All right, so although you'll have more of them on helicopter crashes, you've still got to find a helicopter crash to find them. So what I recommend you do is if you want your people on your service to find the asphalt, what you want to do is you you really want to copy something like the M4 setting. So if we do Control F and we find the M4A1. Oops. So there's the M4A1 vanilla settings. Um, let me just get rid of that. So what we can do here is if we if we simply copy the bottom of this, so we want to say, okay, so its category name is weapons, it's military, but it's going to be in tier three and tier four places. So if we copy that bit, and then we go back to the ASVAL. There we go, there's the ASVAL. And then we just paste that over the top. And then we get rid of this dynamic event loot. Now, with these files, one means yes and zero means no. And then what you can do as well is if you get rid of counting player, turn that to zero. So what we've done now is there on, on your server, there should be 20 ASVL weapons. Um, they'll start restocking when that number goes down to 15. They're only ever counted on the map as well. So that's kind of when they're sitting on the floor, ready to be picked up. That, that's when they're counted. As soon as someone picks them up, it doesn't count that, and it'll spawn another one in. Or if they put it in their backpack, or if they put it in their barrel or their tent at back at their base. So they will continue to spawn in. Um, and we've also classed it as military, obviously, military weapon, in Tier th 
oh, tier three and tier four places. So that means it's more towards the northwest of Cherneris. Um, you know, so towards um, Northwest Airfield and Tizzy. That, that's the sort of place. I mean, you could put Tier 2, or you could just leave the tiers off, and then it would spawn in at any military places, you know, say um, Belotta Airfield and, and places like that, military tents that are dotted around. So that that's the ASVL. And we said the other thing you want to look at is the VAL 20 round, which I, I think is the mag for it. Forgive me if I'm wrong. So what we do, if we go back to our types.xml and we look for that. There we go. So there's there's the mag. Let's have a quick look. Now this isn't dynamic event loot. It's only counted on the map. So you can see straight away there's only, <laughs> there's only three of them spawn in. So <laughs> let's increase that to 20. Let's change the minimum to 15. Um, it's only found in tier 4 places. So Let's make that, let's add another thing there. So let's put tier three. There we go. So now what's gonna happen now is the, the 20 round Val Mag, I hope that is the right one. The 20 round Val Mag, there's, there's gonna be 20 of them on the server. It's gonna restock when that number goes down to 15. They'll only ever be counted on the map. So as soon as one, somebody picks one up, or puts them in their bag, or puts them in the tent, it will spawn another one in. Uh, it'll be found in military locations and it'll be found in tier 4 and tier 3 military military locations which again is towards the um, northwest of the map so again northwest airfield tizzy that direction and again you could put tier 2 or you could get rid of the tiers and it'd be found in military p places all over the place um, so that's the gun and the mag so you're gonna have more of them spawn in so now let's talk about how you can spawn them in with the bits on them so to do this you want to open up your sorry you want to save that as well so so you want to go to your CFG spawnable types and you want to search for the ASVAL. So the spawnable types file, what this does is it configures items as they spawn in. So items that generally will have attachments or stuff on them, weapons and vehicles for example, this is the this is the uh, file that says okay, when when an ASVAL, when an ASVAL weapon spawns in, spawn it in with these things or with a chance of having these things. So so let's have a look. So what we can say is we can see that the, the first thing has an attachment chance of 0.08, so 8% of it spawning in with a with a mag, uh, 20 round, which is pretty pant, that isn't it? So let's change that to 1.00. So basically every single as valuable spawn in with a uh, with a 20 round mag. Actually, I'll tell you what, while we're at it, let's go back here. <laughs> <laughs> so this mag oh wait a minute mag val 20 oh it was the right one so let's go back to the mag val 20 round in the types that XML. apologies for jumping backwards let me just show you how to make it spawn in with full of bullets so if you want your mags to spawn in full of bullets change the quant min and the quant max to 99 and 100 maybe you can do 100 and what or 100 I don't know but i always do 99 and 100 and save that and that means that when that magazine spawns in it'll spawn in basically with full of full of bullets there you go, there's one. So back to the ASVAL in the spawnable types. So we've changed the attachment chance to 1.0 for the for the for the mag. So it'll always spawn in with the mag. Now, what we've got underneath here as well is if we go down, if we skip the optics for now, we've got the TLR light. So this is the, the flashlight that it can spawn in with. So why don't we change that to 1.00 as well? So it'll always spawn in with the light attached. You'll probably have to add a battery to it, but hey, there you go. So now we can look at the, the optics, can't we? Um, and we can think, okay, so what they're saying here is that the the um, the asphalt will, with a third, it'll have a 0.30, so a 30% chance of spawning in with the, the BUIS optic, the M4 optic, the reflex optic, or an ACOG optic. So kind of your choice about which one you want to use you could just leave that as it is to be honest and you've got a good chance of it spawning in it was probably well we got 15 30 there's a it's got a good chance of spawning in with an optic it's not a 100 percent, but maybe maybe see what what you could do is if you had a particular favorite optic you wanted this to spawn in with what you could do is you could do this. You could change the attachment chance to 1.00. And let's say you, you wanted it to spawn in with the ACOG optic. 
you could change that to 1.00 and you could get rid of that okay so now what we've got now is what our spawnable type is saying is say that always spawn it in with a 20 round mag always spawn it in with the ACOG optic and always spawn it in with the TLR light okay in fact you might be off so and then you would you would save that all right yeah, forget about that um, I've got automatic XML uh, checking turned on so it was just telling me there's th that there's a problem all right, so let's go back to that okay so so that's how would they do it so that's quite a good thing so it means whenever your um, survivors find an asval it's going to have a mag in it um, we've already changed it so the mags are full of bullets it's going to have a scope on it and it's going to have a light on it what we could do actually as well is if you wanted to if we go to tlr light if we find that i wonder if we can find it by itself no okay so the tlr light doesn't have a spawnable type which means that I'm pretty sure it will never spawn in with a battery anyway it's not the end of the world as foul there we go so there we go so we've covered changing in the type to that xml um We've increased the nominal to 20, we've uh, increased the minimum to 15, we turned off dynamic event loot, we ch changed it so it's only counted in the map, we added tier 3 and tier 4 so it'll only spawn in military locations, um, and then in the spawnable types we made it so that it will always spawn in with a magazine, always spawn in with an ACOG optic, always spawn in with, with a, uh, the light on the barrel. Now the other thing, one more quick tip before we go. At the top here, damage min 0.3, damage max 0.7. If you change them to 0.1 and 0.2, um, items will always spawn in pristine as well. So there's a little bonus tip. So, yeah, okay, thank you. So <laughs> save your files, and then what you want to do then is go back to your Nitrado server hit upload and upload the types.xml file over the top of the existing types.xml file go back to your main folder where the cfg spawnable types is and upload the cfg spawnable types over the top of the other one restart your server and those extra asvals will start spawning in but remember they're still very rare 20 rifles over the entire of Chernerus over the or over the entire of Livonia isn't very many it's still going to be difficult to find them so don't panic when you don't find them straight away and remember if you follow the instructions I've done here they're tier 3 and tier 4 so they're up in the northwest part of the up in the northwest part of the map on Chernerus and sort of down south in the case of uh, Livonia Coolio well hopefully that's helpful if it has been, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.